I've got a good friend that has been through a divorce, and I've watched her go through this, and she's really doing well. She's doing great. She's quit eating bread. <laughs> and she's doing setups in the living room, and she looks like a movie star, and she wants a man. She's ready to get out there and get another man, and it is on like Donkey Kong. She's so funny. She really is the funniest woman in the South. And if you don't believe me, just go watch her Netflix comedy special, Leanne Morgan, I'm Every Woman. And I know you're going to agree with me. Variety has even named her as one of their top 10 comedians to watch. And we are so excited to have Leanne here with us in studio. Hi. Hey, my darling. Thank you for having me. Oh, I just, I love you so much. And I'm just so happy for you. I, I don't even know you, but I'm just so happy for all the success that you're having. I mean, it's Thank it's you. incredible. Thank you, my darling. I'm 57 and a grandmama. Oh. And I've done this over 20 something years and then this boomed. In 2019, when I was ready to, I was gonna, I don't wanna say give up, but I was gonna just bow out. And I thought, you know, I'm a, I'll be a grandmama. I'll start cooking pinto beans and washing clothes for grandbabies. And, and then this boomed. And it, every day I pinch myself and think, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. I mean, it really is. You're selling out your shows. I mean, another comedy. And now you're acting in a movie with Reese Witherspoon and Will Ferrell? I know. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? What? I play Reese Witherspoon's big sister. Oh. And I had a ball. I mean, I had a ball. And it, and I didn't know what I was doing. And they were precious to me. And all just, and they would help me. Because, you know, I've never done that before. Right. And, but it was so fun. But I want to give y'all an update on my friend that was going through a divorce. She's made out with somebody. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she made out with somebody yes. who's on fire. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, she goes, Leanne, update that and let people know from that Netflix special. Because, yeah, she made out with so a man great... outside of her car. Oh. oh in oh. a parking lot. Oh, oh yeah and she's in her 50s and that gives everybody hope you know <laughs> you are so funny and, and you're so relatable I mean I, I've never felt more seen than when you were talking about I mean so many different things the, the bikini in the in the winter time that was hysterical thank the, you the big panties big panties I, I can't that that is so funny well thank you my darling and I when they send to me what do you want to name the first two or I said, the big penny to her. And they go, why? And I go, you know, I just, I'm thinking about my pennies a lot. <laughs> and I talked about my pennies. I did 100 cities. And let me tell you, I sold out, and Atlanta's been so good to me. I sold out three center stages and two cobs here. And I talked about my pennies. We had a ball. And then they put me at the Fox here, oh, which is unbelievable. And I've sold out one show and got another one. They added another one, so the, those tickets are available. But I named this tour the Just Getting Started Tour because I feel like I'm just getting started. Do you? At 57 years old, with all this happening to me, this Netflix special, I never thought Netflix would have me on. I thought, they're not going to have a, a woman from Tennessee, a grandmama. I mean, think about it. There's nobody like me on there. And I guess that's probably why they put me on there. But, but all these things that have happened to me, I mean, it's just like a blessing from heaven every day. I've got a book coming out in 2024, and I wanted to tell every horrible sin I committed in the 80s, and my <laughs> literary agent goes, you know what? You're not Joan Crawford yet. He goes, let's save that. Let's save all your sin for later. So this is going to be funny essays about my life that's coming out. I've been, I've been working on that. Oh my gosh, we can't wait for that. We're, we hey, just adore you. you. Angel, I, thank you, you beauty oh and my doll. God. I cannot believe you have a six month old baby. I know. It's. Sh Your she ankles are not you. swollen. You don't I have can't. any fluid. I can't. She would just love you so, so much. Okay, so you're just embracing and loving every moment that you're in because, I mean, like you said, 22 years of comedy and you didn't start out the most conventional way. Tell no. them about that. I was at the University of Tennessee, met my husband. He bought a used mobile home business in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. I'd never been up there. Moved me there. I had my first baby. I wanted to like make a little money, have a side hustle, you know, so I could get my hair highlighted. And I started selling jewelry in women's homes like Mary Kay and Tupperware. Yeah. And I had my own little audience every night when you think about it it was a god thing because i didn't have a comedy club anywhere around i wanted to be a comedian since i was a little child and anyway i i had my own little comedy club in these living rooms women and i, I developed a shtick 
And that's how, and then the company noticed that I was booking so far in advance, they asked me to speak at their big things, and then that gave me the encouragement. People said, you need to be a stand-up. And that's how it started. And then we moved to San Antonio and I had a comedy club for the first time. Wow. And my kids were probably about three, five, and seven when I, when I really got started in comedy clubs. Oh my gosh. And now you're gonna be honored in, in Montreal in July. It this just is for laughs, yes, for top 10 uh, comics to watch. Oh. I know. I know. I mean, it's literally like a pinch me moment every day for you. It is, and I and and I don't take any of it for granted. And let me tell you, when I'm out there doing these shows for, in the, you know, 2,000 to 4,000 seats, it, these women, when I come out, they blow kisses at me, and I blow kisses at them, and I and I know they want me to win, and I feel like I must have hit a niche up for, you know, of my material, people can relate to it. Everyday yes. women out in the middle of the United States. And they are so good to me. And it's sweeter and more wonderful than anything I ever thought it would be. Yes. I'm not kidding. It's like I'd be best friends with every one of them. Yes. I want to be your best friend. Can I be, <laughs> can I be your best friend too? <laughs> yes. Yes. You smell good. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you for normalizing big panties. Yes. You're welcome. My God. I've never, yes, yeah, never been more seen. Or when your husband right. embraces you during COVID and, and I, I couldn't that Your was husband does that to you. He does. I was like, God. And you know that's and that's natural. You know? <laughs> yeah. And that's the way God made men. And, and we love them for that. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. We really do. We really do. <laughs> Oh. We yeah. love her. Okay. I just had to sneak in. Oh, I just I had to. She's just awesome. She's incredible. Well, I, just, I wish I could stay there. with y'all and I, I could know. mop or something. I know. Empty the trash cans. I know. That's no, all the skill I do have. That. Well, I mean. And I'm so glad they added another show because now, <laughs> Thank you. now I'm going to have. I, I, right. I'm, like, so many people I know weren't able to go to the first show or weren't able to get tickets because it sold out so quick. And so now. Oh, no. Now we can go. do it. Oh, the box theater. Have you ever. You go, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> Thank y'all. Come and see me. Yes. Oh my goodness. We we'll have a will. ball. This is a whole new hour, whole new different from yeah. Netflix. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a whole new thing. Okay, perfect. We love you. Thank, Thank you for coming. You. Thank you my for angel. coming. Thank you. And you can watch Leanne's new Netflix special, I'm Every Woman, now streaming on Netflix. And you can also catch her live at the Fox Theater, like we've been talking about. It's September 23rd and 24th. Tickets for the Just Getting Started tour are on sale now. And we're going to have a link for you posted on our website at fox5atlanta.com. Just check under the Good Day section.